All right, this is from Am I the Devil? Oh. Um, I don't know what actual subreddit this post is from because it got deleted like and like oh. scrubbed. Oh, really? Like I couldn't even find the original. But doesn't start with Am I the Asshole? No. Oh, interesting. Because I do forget it is that. Yeah, they just can... a story All entitled right. Why I Spit in the Guy's Food. I'm intrigued because I think. Depending on some situations, if you're a waiter and like your guest is being a dick, mm-hmm. you can maybe maybe you can spit in a po- in a post COVID world, maybe not, but in a pre COVID world, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah. um, a trigger warning. Incel. <laughs> this guy's an incel. I don't uh, know. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, describe on it. second thought, I retract everything I just said. <laughs> yeah, the guy's a fucking incel. All right, are you fucking ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Hello to those who are seeing this post, either because I asked you to check the pinned post on my profile or because you're creeping through my post history. What? Okay, already. Yeah, it's wild. This is about a guy, let's call him Brian, who I'm on bad terms with. I was very displeased to see him eating at a restaurant I worked with, with a girl who we'll call Molly, and thought about doing all sorts of things like dumping a drink all over his head or confronting him outside the restaurant, but in the end, all I did was spit in his food which led to me getting fired from said restaurant. Why would they fire you for doing that? (laughs) Right? (laughs) I didn't say what caused us to be on such bad terms because I honestly didn't think it was relevant to any of the posts I made. But a lot of people commented and messaged me asking for the backstory, and I didn't feel like writing the full story every single time, so I just decided to do it here. All right. Interesting. (laughs) Brian and I were on the same floor sophomore year of college, and I actually considered him a friend. He was actually pleasant to talk to, and we listened to some of the same music and watched the same TV shows. He was one of the few people I tolerated on that floor. Most most of them were loud and obnoxious frat-type guys and sorority-type women. The residential area I lived in was known for that sort of thing. You mass people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, all the way in the back. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. He's like, yeah, this is like his tight five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not, it's not, I don't, yeah. It's not, yeah, okay. It's yeah. more than five minutes. But that all changed one night. You see, Brian knew I had a crush on one girl that lived on our floor. Let's call her Joanna. She was the nicest, prettiest girl I'd met in a while. I was head over heels for her. And I guess it must have been pretty obvious because when I told him, he kind of smirked and said, yeah, I could tell. Brian and I were on a floor group chat that had been made at the beginning of the year. And even though Joanna wasn't, she hung out with the people in it a lot. One weekend night, some guy said in the group chat that he wanted to finish off some cans of beer before he left to go on vacation since he couldn't bring them with him and everyone on the floor wasn't invited to his room. Brian and I came and so did a bunch of other people, including, lo and behold, Joanna. Molly was there too, but she doesn't get involved in the story until later. But I told Brian that this was going to be the night that I get with her. Ooh. I tried talking with her a bit, but it seemed like Brian was hogging her attention. I was put a bit on edge by this, but I told myself that Brian was my friend and he would never make a move on her. So we're all doing some drinking and having a good time when I suddenly see something that will haunt me for the rest of my life. Oh, no. A ghost? The ghost of President George Washington. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll figure out who you are later. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Brian and Joanna were talking and I saw them get really close. Their arms were around each other. They were hugging. Oh. Scandal. Scandal. And without any warning, he kissed her. He fucking kissed her. <laughs> that motherfucker (laughs) fucking bitch I was unfathomably angry I'm getting kind of angry writing this not gonna lie god you're such a fucking dweeb (laughs) Jesus how many years ago and you're still just like man I can't like control my anger man (laughs) yeah that's a problem you need to go to therapy you need to go to fucking therapy All I was thinking was, how the fuck could he do that to me? He was my friend. At least I thought he was. (laughs) Honestly, it just didn't make sense that she would want to be with him. He was a brute. 
And she didn't seem like the type that was attracted to people what like a him. a shift in your friendship. Like, <laughs> yeah. He was different from all the other jock guys until he kissed a woman. Then he's a brute. Then he's a brute. <laughs> So my first thought was that he kissed her without her consent. I stormed out of that room, went up to the RA of that floor, and told him that Brian was harassing her. He said, thanks for letting me know, and that he'll have a word with Joanna. Didn't care what became of- I didn't care what became of this. I was so genuinely angry at him that I hoped he'd get kicked out of the dorm. Getting him kicked out of the dorm was my main goal, since I knew I could never speak to him again. That- what the fuck? Is, what, okay. Uh, uh, okay. All right. I spent the rest of the night silently <sighs> crying to myself, but hoping justice would would prevail. Spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> I was hoping that justice. Batman would come down and, <laughs> and, and, and kick and Brian away. away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, spoiler alert, it did not. Oh, oh really? No. Joanna apparently insisted that everything they did that night was consensual, <laughs> that he didn't make her uncomfortable, and everyone else that was there said she didn't seem uncomfortable, so nothing became of it. Man, all these guys are gaslighting this really, this unproblematic OP. Fucking, what an idiot, man. Jesus. The RA must have thought it was all a big misunderstanding and left it at that. Yeah, that's what he thought. Yeah. Not that you were a fucking freak. Yeah. Um, anyways, Brian was pretty pissed off about the whole thing. Oh, huh. Poor, yeah, yeah. Wonder why that would happen. <laughs> Damn, wild. Uh, eventually, he confronted me in my dorm. He said Molly saw me looking really angry when he and Joanna started making up and saw me toss my can on the floor and storm out. <laughs> I'm gonna make a mess of this place. It's the other people connecting the dots for me. Like, he did toss his can on the floor and storm out saying, I'm going to tell on you for sexually assaulting yeah. Joanna. So he must have been the one that did it. And I'm gonna call the RA by dialing 407. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't believe Molly would sell me out like that. <laughs> that fucking bitch, Molly. <laughs> I figured there was no use lying to him, so I admitted that I told the RA. He blew up at me, saying this was a false accusation. And I guess since she consented, it could be construed as such. But in a way, it wasn't. Yo, I imagine 100% that same Redditor that's typing out the story has got on other things like, what if it was a false allegation against Louis C.K., guys? Guys, what if? So I actually have more. Of him oh yeah, doing other stories. Hell yeah, okay. It's not about Louis C.K., but like it's his a, life. That's gonna be a thing. Okay, it's a. This is a pattern of behavior with him. Yeah, of course. What a surprise! All right. After all, he did weaponize his. After all, he did weaponize his looks and height to take advantage of her thought what? process and primitive instincts in a way that forced her to choose him over me. Have you heard of a field called phrenology? <laughs> <laughs> Can I measure the sh oh my Can I measure God. your skull, please? A hundred percent. That guy, this fucking incel, believes that shit. Yeah. I tried to explain this to him, but he wasn't having it. He said I could have ruined his life and that false rape accusations are never okay. I told him it wasn't a rape accusation. I just wanted the RA to separate the two of them. I told him how fucked up it was to make a move on a girl he knew I had a crush on and that he would have done the same to me if it was a girl he was into. I don't know about that, Chief. Why do you think everyone thinks like you? That's a weird fucking... Fucking, yeah. He made up some bullshit about how I didn't have a chance with Joanna that I quote-unquote creep her out, etc. Sounds like some bullshit, yeah, King. Some, what a liar this Brian <laughs> is. Unbelievable. Eventually, I just told him to fuck off and slammed the door. I moved to dorms not long after because I was worried Brian and his friends were going to beat me up the way they were talking about me. I didn't see him again until I saw him at the restaurant. I was pissed off seeing him with Molly because I had trusted Molly as well. I considered her a friend too. I even had a bit of a crush on her. Well, it's, all right. <laughs> it's not fucking fair that this asshole can get any girl he wants. So there you guys have it. So, you know, I think it's okay to spit in people's food if they, like, curse you out. I don't think it's okay to spit in people's food after you accuse them of harassment and then get mad at them for when they call you out on making a fake harassment charge against you and then you just see them dining with another girl that 
you weren't even going after in the first place, but, but then you, you still also yeah, somehow had a crush, had a crush on because you probably yeah. had a crush on every single girl. Yeah, all women are, is this guy's property in his <laughs> yeah. eyes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Mm. This guy's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> the top comment on this is: I don't think this is a troll post. Checking this guy's history, I think we got ourselves an incel. <laughs> oh yeah. So okay. So then, blah blah blah. Somebody said it's a long form troll, and uh. Sorry, okay. No, it's not. It's not. They're multiple. Um, Trigger warning, spit, sexism, incel, racism, and fetishization. This isn't all of it, just a selection. Oh, no. Some links will go to undid it and rev edit. So. Oh, they've gone like into like the old caches of like, not caches, whatever the thing is. I think this guy has been scrubbed from Reddit because. Probably like suspended or some shit. Yeah. yeah, Something's happened. Yeah. I wonder what what do you. (laughs) Well, I wonder what the line was that was crossed because there were many lines crossed in that post alone. I'm gonna just read the titles of the posts about okay, that I'm because cool that. they're very long and it's filled with the exact same thing, and you can fill in the blanks. Yeah, I think we know enough about this guy to kind of assume you can how he would act. Search this post on Am I the Devil if you really want to go yeah. read it because you can't brigade the guy. You it's can't deleted, find the yeah. post. It's yeah. he's gone. Uh, should I, 21 male, tell my friend, 22 female, who's about to graduate, that I have feelings for her? Uh, oh yeah, well, yeah well, feelings <laughs> what about his feelings that will so then he updated and said so recently i took the sub's advice and all and asked and told a female friend of mine how i felt about her unfortunately this did not change the fact that she has a boyfriend she used this as a reason why she didn't want to go out with me Oh, that's a, that's that's only a reason though. That's like that's not really like it's more of an excuse, really. <laughs> wow. So then he has a comment somewhere else. I would, but at this point, I'm tired of moving on. Every time I shoot my shot with a girl and she says no, I'm told to move on and find somebody else. Well, I've been doing that for what feels like forever, and I still haven't gotten a girl to say yes to me. So why should I keep moving on and finding someone else if that clearly doesn't work? I'm going to keep fucking harassing this woman. <laughs> <laughs> God yeah. damn it. Wow, huh? You know? Hmm. I don't know what my point is for bringing know, up this yeah, guy. I, yeah. I just think this is the, more, what a more, tableau a of, of, extra proof, of a real yeah, guy that of, happens. Yeah. What are the legal ramifications of a restaurant employee spitting in someone's food? <laughs> okay, here's the thing, too. Like, you got fucking caught spitting in someone's food, too. You didn't even, like, try to hide it. Or you, did, you like, did it in broad daylight? I think so, yeah. I think he just, like... You're just an idiot, then. Yeah, he's an yeah. idiot. So then he commented on that post. It wouldn't lead to a health code violation for a one-off incident, though, would it? Yeah, probably. It yeah. would. It would. Yes. Also, considering what that guy did, doing what I did is understandable. I promise. No, no actually, no, no. It was not. If it's not like Jeff Bezos or something, I don't really see. Yeah. Or if it's a, not, you're a, serving a, Hitler. Like yeah, I don't know like what have, else to. Yeah. You you get like a really <laughs> really bad like I don't even think like I I don't even think there's been like that many horribly bad customers that I've seen. That I've been like, man, I wish I could spit in their fucking food. Yeah. Like, even when I worked in food service, I think maybe at Disney I probably had that thought, but that was mostly me being mad at Disney. I mean, I've been screamed at by guests before over dumb stuff, but, like, it's still pretty bad to the point where I can understand why they're upset. Yeah, and, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's and really, it, like... It's not like I want to fuck up their vacation. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. Like, it's never it, it's it's never gotten to a point of action, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, I'm going to do something to yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, maybe I did when I worked at a uh, E Pass, because there were some people that would call in screaming and not listen to us, and it was and like really, really bad. But most of what I did was just hang up the. F- that's fair. No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay. <sighs> more, more titles. Yeah, this one uh, gets me. How to ask out my cute Asian coworker. <sighs> And that's the last one. Yeah, I think that's a fed. <laughs> that's a. Oh wait, no, there's another one. Sorry. Uh, reminder that the non-virgins here giving advice do not care about you. If they did, they wouldn't keep giving the same shitty advice that doesn't fucking work. They're just here because they want to feel superior to someone, and picking on a group of lonely people is the only way to make them feel better. No, they get pussy, so they feel better. They do feel better. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, it's yeah. them getting pussy that makes them feel better. They're they probably are trying to help people. Sex is not the most important thing in the world. If I'm honest, it's it it is really good. <laughs> Listen, I'm saying, but like there are ace people out there that live extremely fulfilling lives. Yeah, no, I get you. That's fine. But don't like freak out because you can't get pussy because you're a little jerk. Yeah. You're just a little jerk and (laughs) every woman can feel that innately about you. And so you don't get pussy. So don't do turn around and be like me, the why, pussy havers have you have, uh, have you discriminated against yeah. me. That's not how that works, no, baby. Yeah. They keep giving me the advice of not saying bad things to women, but I, they're such bitches. <laughs> I, I don't know why they won't suck my dick. Like what the fuck? Uh, yeah, you're gonna. There's you're, no advice that will make it so that you get pussy every time because the pussy is not entitled to. Yeah. Be given to you. Exactly. You know what I mean? Sometimes people just don't like you and that's fine. But they're for sure not going to like you if you act unlikable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bruh. You got to give them a little bit of a chance to maybe like you. You have to be. Yeah. Yes. You can't just walk around and be a mean old piece of shit all the time. That hates everyone. And thinks women are inferior. Yeah. And like little babies. Are like fucking objects to be conquered. Yeah, that's crazy, dog. Come on. Come on, bud. Fucking incels, man. I don't know. If we have any, like, proto-incels in our audience, fucking take our advice and just, like, work on becoming a better person yeah. first. And then you'll fucking have friends and you'll have, and then you'll get pussy and then, you know, you won't even realize it. You'll wake up one day and you'll be like, oh my god, I'm, I'm a I'm, chat. I, I got chat, yeah. Oh, fuck. I got big dick energy, yeah. yeah. I know how to woodwork. I go to I go to billiards practice on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fucking bro. Yeah, I do things that make me feel fulfilled in my life. Join the photography club. <laughs> I do nice things for people, and it makes me feel happy. Yeah, donate your time. Go volunteer. Yeah, and get nothing out of it. Just do it, and you know, just do shit that where you're not just constantly thinking about why don't I have pussy? 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 Where's the pussy? <laughs> like damn bro god